Hey everybody, back with a new episode of The X-Files. Last episode, would you like to go into it since I kind of like rushed through it? No, <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> um, I feel like I would mess it up. Whoa. Dark matter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A very uh, comic booky kind of situation. Yes, he got some powers. Yes. But was... Didn't want him. Questionably either combusting people or sending them somewhere. But now he is in the capture of Mr. X and whatever CD organization that he's working for. We'll never see him again. But it's pretty sad. He's yeah. probably being tortured. Yeah, that looked a lot like torture at the end. There. Yeah. Um, but it was a good episode. I enjoyed it. This next episode is... We've only got two more left. Our Town. Our Town. Sounds real folksy and... It's a play. It's a play. I don't know. I don't Our know it's a play. Town. It's a play. It is. Okay. But, like, does it give you any indication of what this episode's going to be? No, because I don't remember the play. Our Town. By Thornton Wilder. 1938. Meta theatrical three act play. It's dramatic play. Small American town in Grover's Corners. Near between 1901 and 1913. Through the everyday lives of its citizens. Okay, do you think this is going to be as grounded as that sounds? Maybe on the surface. Ooh, There's going to be something. Aliens. I feel like it's gonna be aliens. It's We're, probably gonna be aliens. So it's been a little while. Since it has, been but also it's getting to the end of the season. I feel like yeah, we gotta wrap that up. Episode yeah. This. So if this isn't aliens, next episode got to be. Um, but we, aliens. but even though we didn't get aliens, we got Mr. X, and he always gives that vibe of conspiracy right. and cover up. There's something. And there's something afoot with him. Mm, something. <laughs> something fucky. Just <laughs> Okay, let's get into it. We don't have to be out here, you know. It's not like you're still in high school. Uh, she looks it, and you look old. You can go to the motel. I wouldn't want anyone to see us. What? Oh, what's happened? That was some serious. George! Montage! Okay. Yeah, I've never seen anybody react quite like that. Take your nitroglycerin. You have to catch me first. Oh, <laughs> well. From sweaty with intense Angela to Ooh. running around in the woods. What are those? <laughs> what are those? <gasps> what? Yeah, she fully let him know. Yeah, yeah, she did. They're sending us on some kind of a wild goose chase. Chicken chase. George Kearns was a federal poultry inspector assigned to Dudley, Arkansas, home of. Chaco chicken. I'm not questioning the legitimacy of the case, just their motives in assigning it. That photo was taken by state police in the field where the woman claims to have seen Foxfire. This could have been made by anything at a like bonfire. That. I thought so too. No, sir. That is that is no way to get to heaven. His name was Creighton Jones. He pulled off the road on May 17, 1961, to take a nap. They found him three days later, so deranged by what he'd encountered that he had to be committed. How old was he in 1961? He doesn't look that old. It's no big secret that Kern stepped out on his wife every chance he got. Did he have many what chances? That? Let's just say George is the type of man you'd expect to go chasing some sweet young thing out of town. What about her? In China too? Oh, it is. She is yeah, she's Heart problem. Yeah. Chickens? <laughs> I know it doesn't sound too appetizing, but it is nutritious and it cuts uh -oh. down on carbs. The meat is cooked and mixed with grain. Ew. We can let all that protein go to waste. Ah! Oh, God, God. Oh. Oh. We're federal agents. We're losing it. Why did you pull this gun? Don't hurt him. Just tell us what you want. Oh, I didn't see the knife. I'm excited. Just calm down. Okay. I, I'm sorry, I didn't see the knife. That's my little gun. Oh. Oh. Oh, insult to injury. He just shot her. You okay? Ew! Could it have 
been line hypnosis? Like I said, I'm not qualified to make that diagnosis. But you can't tell us whether George Kearns came to you with any similar complaints. They presented similar symptoms, yeah. What did you How did you treat them? them? I treated them both with uh, pain medication, codeine. Codeine? Well, I think an autopsy on Paul. would not get for that. You spend your youth trying to build something for yourself and your family and your community, only to watch it all taken away from you at your old age. Still. That's the way life works, man. I'm not ready to die just yet. This girl would have been dead in a matter of months. It says here that Paula Gray was born in 1948, which means that this woman, Chaco's granddaughter, was 47 years old. Kreuzfeld Jakob can be hereditary, but it's not communicable. That two unrelated people in the same small town will contract the same rare disease. A lot more likely than Paula Gray being three years shy of her 50th birthday. Oh, look out! Like mad what the hell? Yeah, he was swerving like crazy. Uh, oh my. What's up with the river? Look red, huh? Scully, I'd like to report an accident on County A. They're probably polluting the town with their waste runner. She said this driver had the same symptoms as Paula Gray and George Kearns. What the hell? You're saying this is a third victim of Kreuzfeld Jakob? You just got through telling me that two cases would be statistically impossible. Well, they would be. I just came up with a sick theory, Mulder. It's environmental. Ooh, listen. <laughs> he got so intrigued. I saw the feed grinders at the plant. What if somebody put George Kearns' body in there? Kreuzfeld Jakob is a prion disease, which means it could have been passed on to the chickens and in turn okay. anyone who consumed them. What's wrong with this water? That's a great question. Runoff from the plant. I'm glad you asked. Chicken litter mostly, some blood and parts yeah. from the birds. Ew! Was this river searched after George Kearns disappeared? That is not sanitary. Are you kidding? Talking about a needle in a haystack. Well, I'd like it dragged as soon as possible. Mulder. No, it's just a hunch. I mean, if George Kearns didn't just run off, if he was murdered for that inspection report, then his body's got to be run somewhere. off. He is running off. Uh oh, that does a lot of fucking bones. How many people have they killed? Well, so far, I've been able to isolate nine distinct skeletons. This one belonged to the late George Kearns. All of them share one strange detail. Though. They seem to have lost their heads. Well, besides that, for some reason, all of them, even Kearns's, are smooth and buffed at the ends. Why? They found him, didn't they? Well, we brought up quite a few remains at the river this oh, afternoon. Dead. We've seen it. I had Danny run a check on all missing persons last season. Is he getting chicken? I just got a bucket deadly. of chicken. In the last 50 years, 87 people have disappeared near here. Oh, and judging from the forensic doing? evidence, I'd say the same person or persons was responsible. I think that the good people of Dudley have been eating more than just chicken. Yeah. You think these people were eaten? Through these bones. Some cannibalistic rituals are enacted with the belief that they can prolong life. Cannibalism is one thing, but increasing longevity by eating human flesh. Well, think about it, Scully. Well, how does he have the vampirism bucket of chicken? To <laughs> I know! Literally or symbolic, the reward for eating flesh is eternal life. I can't keep lying. It's all right. She was in on it because her happened. husband was stepping out on it? You have nothing to worry about. Because they're going to think I did it. No, they won't think any such thing. This whole thing will blow over soon enough and you, you wonder what all the fuss is about. Blow over? They found how many? Oh, I'm sorry. Seven or eight? No. It's all right. We all <laughs> understand, Dora. The, <laughs> the amount of bones they dragged down the river. Oh, no, we were in the hole. Like, this is going to blow over? The FBI is here. She's next. Yep. Yeah, she'll be fine. Huh? She's not stable. Uh, she's one of us now. That's not a search warrant. <laughs> they never care about that. <laughs> ever. Someone's been playing with matches. Damn. Dirty work itself, huh? Oh wow. I thought there was a whole group of them. Maybe it's just him. Oh my god. Scully? Scully? Scully, what happened? <gasps> no! Scully. I said not to touch her. Doris Kearns was one of us. Look 
at yourselves. Look at what you've become. Has it gotten away from this you? This isn't faith anymore. It's just fear. Scully just like saw a yeah. ritualistic beheading of this town. Yes, she did. Bring her over. But she's next. <laughs> How did you get this many people to be okay with this? Okay, now first things first, get Scully out of there. Yeah, we have priorities here. Very traumatizing for her. <laughs> Uh-oh, he's got a gun. No! <laughs> you hurt? <sighs> Physically? You alright? Mostly, psychologically, spiritually. No. Can we get these? <laughs> yeah. <gasps> the sheriff! The chicken didn't really even have anything to do with it. No, it just gave him a way to, like, dispose of the meat. And disperse it throughout the community, I guess. <laughs> good people, good food! He's the same Literally! He does. But good uh, people is the good food! <laughs> Transport plane carrying Walter oh. Chaco was shot down in 1944 over New Guinea. Chaco was the only survivor of that crash. According to naval records, he spent six months with the Zhao Lei, a tribe whose cannibalistic practices have long been That's suspected. That's where he learned it. As of this date, his remains have yet to be found. Wait, they're feeding it to the chickens? Well, this is just going to continue then. Everybody's going to get Yasin syndrome. Cannibalism. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Never goes out of style. <laughs> Tell it to Taylor Swift. Is that a song? Never go out of style. She's yes, talking about cannibalism is. in that song. Harry Styles. But close. <laughs> um, okay, gross. Nothing building to a finale. So this was a standalone. Yeah. But it did give me a lot of vibes of the cow episode. Are you worried that it's going to be a cliffhanger? Yes. And we cannot go on. We did that last season. <laughs> it is definitely going to be a cliffhanger. Um, but I think this is our first cannibalism episode. And, um... Are you sure? I think. First cannibalism on this scale, anyway. I, I won't lie. I wish there was a little bit of lead up into what the next episode was. I like the penultimate episode of Seasons to build into a finale, but... Meh. We'll see. We'll see. I don't think it matters as much when the cliffhanger happens and the final episode and then... It wraps up in this season. Yeah. The next season. We just I don't digress. get that as much anymore as we used to. Right. Um, anything to say about the commentary of this episode? Eternal life is overrated. I don't think it was eternal. They were aging just slowly. Right. It seems like they were just... I mean, but 1902, he looks pretty good. Yeah, for 90 for yeah. sure. But he still looked like he was in his like Older. But who knows when 70s. he started that shit. Did it say? He was born in the 1902. And he started in the 40s. But when did he get like... I think the 40s. He had a granddaughter, got granddaughter about 44. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. his granddaughter's birthday was 44. So weird, though, that his granddaughter would be, be working at the plant. Well, no I guess way. it's a little less weird with, like, all the information that was going on. But it looked like she was just, like, a line. Yeah. It's not like she was in management. Maybe she's just bored. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, the whole town was in on it. Is Would that many people be into, like, sacrificing people to live forever? I guess if you weren't, they would just sacrifice you and yeah, you it's find like, somebody who was. Yeah, it's either get on board or die. Yeah. But it's funny that the dude at the beginning was actually trying to bring him down, but his yeah. wandering eye got him kilt. 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 Kilted. Kilted to death. Uh, yeah, okay. He's like, you guys are eating people. But, uh, and then he got eaten. He, he did get eaten. <laughs> and his head got put in the cabinet. Um, and yeah, pretty straightforward. <laughs> as far as X Files go. As far as X Files go. 
but yeah okay one more episode we're excited so thanks for watching guys we'll be back soon bye